For those who don't know, Victor Schauberger was to water what Nikola Tesla was to electricity. He was a recognized genius, known as the water wizard. But what was his wellspring and source of genius? This is what he had to say on the subject, and I quote, Already, from earliest childhood, it was my deepest wish to understand nature, and through this come closer to the truth I could not find at school or church. I was repeatedly drawn to the forest, where I could watch the flow of water for hours on end without getting tired or irritable. At this time, I did not yet know the water is the bearer of life, or the source of what we call consciousness. Totally oblivious, I let the water flow past my searching eyes, and only years later did I become aware that this running water attracts our consciousness magnetically, takes a piece with it, with a force that is so strong that one loses consciousness for a while, and involuntarily falls into a deep sleep. And so gradually, I began to play with these forces in water, and I gave up this so-called free consciousness, and left it to the water for a while. Little by little, this game turned into a very serious matter, because I saw that it was possible to release my own consciousness from my body and attach it to the water. When I took it back again, the consciousness borrowed from the water told me things that were often very strange, and so the searcher became a researcher who could send his consciousness on expeditions, so to speak. And this way, I found out about things the rest of mankind has missed, because they do not know that people are able to send their free consciousness everywhere, even where the seeing eye cannot look. This so-called sight practice with blindfolded eyes finally gave me ties to the secrets of nature, which I slowly began to recognize and understand in their own fabric. And in due course, it became clear to me that we human beings are used to seeing everything backwards and wrong. The biggest surprise, however, was that we human beings let our most valuable part drain off as useless, and from all the great intellectuality that flows through us, we retain only the crap. Victor Schauberger